<laughs> What's up guys, Jay Brady here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Crossout. Not gonna lie, wasn't planning to do an upload today, but I found this build last night. It's a build by Rodfish Bandit. I did modify it a little bit, but Rodfish Bandit is the master in worm builds and worm creations. He, <laughs> he makes the best of them. But I wanted a build where I could have fun with meat grinders. So I thought, how can I do that? You know, I want to use the meat grinders as my main weapon, but I also need to kind of defend myself. So the perfect weapon was the Caucasus, because while the Caucasus are firing at the enemy, I can focus on grinding the enemy with my meat grinder. And this build works amazingly. Like, I had so much fun, and that's why I'm sharing this build with you guys, because a lot of people have been complaining since the update. Eh, update sucks, the wheel's broken, everything hovers bad, blah, blah, blah. But just try to have fun, man. Like, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie, you do need an Ermac cabin, which is like 2k coins. But if you can replace it with another cabin, maybe the Omnibox or another heavy cabin, I think you can still do fine. Not as good, but you know, you can still do fine. So first of all, you need, well, maybe you can get away with three mid grinders, but I use four, you know, four works for me. And you also need a Golden Eagle engine. The Golden Eagle engine has becoming so expensive. The Golden Eagle engine was like 150 coins at some point but now it's like around 700, almost 800 coins. So these are getting quite expensive, but it increases your top speed by, for augers and tracks and stuff like that by 10 kilometers per hour. Does it sound like a lot? Trust me, it's a lot. So yeah, something else I wanted to point out is I'm farming fuel with this build because I wanted a fu fuel farming build. So I have two fuel barrels here. I have this smaller fuel barrel and I have a fuel tank over here. And uh, at first I thought, you know, it's a, uh, it's not gonna work out because I thought, man, if people blow up my fuel barrels, I'm gonna be a sitting duck. But nope, fire dogs come here, people with explosives come here, and my fuel tanks do blow up. But my cabin and my meat grinders are just fine. It's a, it's a real amazing build. But anyways, I've been talking too much. You guys just sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Also, you know, leave a like if you want to do that. So this video is gonna be a post commentary video because I recorded it while I wasn't even planning on recording. And I had so much fun, I just had to record everything. So it's uh, it's gonna be a little bit different, but I hope it's interesting enough for you guys to uh, enjoy it. Now you guys just sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Okay, we are at Founders Canyon now. I believe this was like the first match I played with this build after modifying it. So there's the bots as usual. And at first I thought, you know, it wasn't really gonna work with bots with triangular tracks, you know, hardened tracks. But you know, <laughs> as you guys saw, it kind of worked out pretty okay. And during the whole session, I've been grinding tracks, wheels, plows. It doesn't matter. I grind everything and, you know, it still works out just fine. I'm also getting targeted by so many different things. But man, the Ermac cabin is just a beast of a cabin. It's a really amazing cabin. I would say it's the only cabin you need in your inventory, really. There we got another target using machine guns. I just locked them with my caucuses but he was a little bit too fast. You know, 70 kilometers per hour top speed is not the fastest. People will outrun you, but that's why you have the Caucasus, like this hover right here. You know, we can still shoot him even though he's faster than us. But I changed targets because, you know, there was an incinerator built trying to get me. And he heated himself up, which was great, so I could shoot him and grind him to death. We got a destruction. Another target behind me, just lock on. Let our Caucasus do the work and then we can uh, keep moving. The reason why I'm moving a lot sideways is because the build moves a lot quicker if you go forward and sideways at the same time. So it's kind of tricky. And as you guys can see, I'm doing all kinds of movement. So obviously, uh, mouse aiming is off. And builds like this would just be awful if mouse aiming was forced on us. So devs, please don't force mouse aiming on us. I don't want to bring up the subject again, but uh, I really don't want that to happen to us. But as you guys can see, two very fast targets. But, you know, I can sit on the cap and still be fine. We got 2800 durability left. That one player is a Yogwai player, so that's kind of annoying. But, you know, hurricanes aren't really a big issue. We can grind them, but we can lock onto them and uh, try to disable them. Three Yogwai shooting at me. No problem, Ermac can take it all. So at this point, I just decided you know, I'm going to stay on cap because I'm not going to ever catch them if I try to uh, chase them down. And I can also lock on to the drones, of course. So the Hurricane player tried to push up and so did the Yaogwai. Got him down. 
and then finish off the hover. Oh, almost had five frags, but we still got MVP. All right, we are at the uh, map. I don't know the name of anymore, even though I've been recording cross out videos for four years. But we got another bot, of course, coming in super early in the game. We got a big bot here. Geyser made him, made, made him do a somersault. And we st we're starting to grind him. Oh, this guy with the uh, Tempuras missed me. It's uh, very strange how wedges work. Oh, the Geyser pushed him off and it tried to push me as well, but it didn't work. But we are locked onto the Tempuras because he's a very dangerous target. As you guys, I, I really don't know who to lock onto. Even though my guns are locked onto the Tempura build, I want to use the meat grinder to lock on someone else. Or not lock on, but you know, grind them, target them down, track them down. Our meat grinders aren't connecting here, but yep, we got a few hits in there, and now they are connecting. And our, our Caucasus, of course, is uh, finishing the job for us. Already got two frags. Another assist there. Three targets left. Can't remember what I did this match. Who is that? Oh, it's the Yo Guai player. He's a speedy boy with Omni Wheels as well. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the game might seem very unbalanced. Maybe, maybe because I've been playing for too long and I'm used to everything. But it does feel kind of balanced for me. I, I know it might not sound right for you guys, but no matter what, I always find a way to have fun. That's what I'm trying to say. Like this crazy build. Who would have thought this would be effective? <laughs> there we go. And another four frags. Not sure if I got... Oh, I got MVP. Okay, now we are at Dirty Island. Of course, fast bot pushing up already. But we are going to grind him. Of course, we wedge him. <laughs> I think the meat grinders are a better wedge than old wedges were. Another bot. Target him down, grind him down. Beautiful. Drones in the air. See if we can take him out. Yep, we got him. And at this point, oh yeah, I saw this build for the first time. I was like, huh, someone had a similar idea because he's using drones. You know, because he's focusing on meat grinding and I'm using kind of automatic cannons because I want to focus on meat grinding. So he's using four of those. What are those? I don't know. They're not falcons. I think they are the, the, the special ones with the two guns. So while the enemy is focusing on the, the drones, he can grind them. But I like the Caucasus more because they have more, um, more durability. As you guys can see in all the clips, I am taking a ton of beating. But you know, able to... Oh yeah, this was, the, this was such, such a satisfying moment. <laughs> we were able to grind them from the front and the back. I was like, ah, thumbs up, buddy. Awesome. I know Rodfish Bandit and his clan used to do that. Where three people would like surround you. Oh, we did another one. Oh, perfect. Beautiful. Yeah, his clan mates used to do that. They made like a triangular shape and grinded you to that if they were stripped. That's also another benefit of this build. If you lose your guns, that's fine. If you still have meat grinders, it's still a very deadly weapon. Another thumbs up. Yeah, I had so much fun playing this match. Just moving sideways and like trying to chase people down <laughs> and scaring them is just so much fun. I wonder if the deaths are gonna go through with the 30% more durability on everything. I don't think they need to do that. Maybe just for cabins. That would be great. And you know, every I don't know, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think everything still needs like 30 or maybe 20 or 10% more durability? Then would be fine, I think. Oh, he was hiding from me. That's funny. And the last... Oh, a Yo Guy player again. Nice, we got another MVP. Okay, so now I am at... 
East Quarter, I believe this map is called. I really don't know. But, uh... We ha I'm, not, I'm not sure. I'm not really not sure what happened here anymore. I did ask the guy to group up with me so we can meet grind people together. This guy made a mistake. Oh, as you guys saw there, my fuel tanks popped. Oh yeah, that's why I recorded this. My fuel tanks popped and my cabin is still fine. My meat grinders are still fine and I'm still functional. My generator is in the back. My generator is under the first Caucasus actually. And that almost never got popped. Destructor player did get a Caucasus, I believe. No, maybe he didn't. Maybe it was someone else. But we got a second destruction. Okay, now we are at Sector X and I grouped up with the other meat grinder player. And this was our first match and I was like, hmm, how is this going to work out? So he went in aggressive and I just followed. And it worked out great. First, we have these uh, bots and players. I'm grinding. I'm not sure if he's... Yeah, he's also grinding. So that player is getting grinded from both sides. And he paid the price and he was getting shot. Locked onto Samantha and grinding the bot. Really helps out a ton if you can shoot and grind at the same time. I think grinding alone, grinding alone might be a, a bit difficult. So I was deciding here, should I go in? And I just thought, you know, YOLO, I got the Ermac cabin. Got our first target here, perfectly lined up for me. And look, look, look what the meat grinders can do. That's so hilarious. You can just push him over and just flip him. It's crazy. Again, this guy does not know what to do. And he just got annihilated. One player left already. Four frags again. Yeah, I had so much fun just playing this build, man. Really a ton of fun. Last player is an incinerator player. Not much he can do. He can only pop my fuel barrels. I'm not sure if I got him. I think he, yeah, he already gave up. Oh yeah, we, we shot him. Nice. Another MVP. So yeah, that's it guys. It was a little bit weird to do it this way, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Have a great day. Peace out.